Viggo Mortensen is not only returning to the Western genre, but also to the director's chair, with the moving drama The Dead Don't Hurt. While best known to some for his turn as Aragorn in Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings trilogy, Mortensen has a well-regarded history in the Western genre, starring in the likes of 1990's Young Guns 2, 2004's Hidalgo and 2008's Appaloosa. He has also been steadily making a name for himself as a writer, director and composer in the past few years following his well-received feature debut with the 2020 drama Falling. With The Dead Don't Hurt, Mortensen again wears the hats of director, writer, composer, producer and star, co-leading the story as Holger Olsen, a Danish immigrant living a quiet life in 1860s San Francisco and falling in love with Franco-Canadian woman, Vivian Lecoudé, played by Vicky Creeps. In a fresh shift for the genre, the story quickly puts the focus on Vivian, as she grapples with the turmoil between her love for Holger and desire for a life of luxury, particularly as he leaves her to take part in the Civil War, and she struggles to find any allies in a town dominated by scrupulous men. Alongside Mortensen and Creeps, the ensemble The Dead Don't Hurt cast includes Danny Houston, Sally McLeod, Garrett Dillahunt, W. Earl Brown and Nadia Litz. Currently holding a certified fresh approval rating from critics of 85% on Rotten Tomatoes, the Western also continues an impressive decade-long streak for Mortensen, as he has not seen a poorly rated movie on the review aggregate in the past 10 years. In honor of the movie's wide release, Screen Rant interviewed Viggo Mortensen and Vicky Creeps to discuss The Dead Don't Hurt, his fresh approach to the Western genre, telling a non-chronological story, and how the latter's role as Vivian felt more like telling her own life story rather than playing a character. The Dead Don't Hurt wasn't originally a Western. Viggo Mortensen directing a scene on The Dead Don't Hurt set. Despite marking his exciting return to the Western genre, Mortensen says The Dead Don't Hurt wasn't initially envisioned as being such, instead coming from his desire to tell the story of a woman who had a strong interior life and encountered struggles to live as an independent person. He ultimately realized that the genre proved rife with opportunities to touch upon these themes, given it was an era dominated by men. Vivian held a lot of personal resonance for creeps. Vivian Lecoudé, draped in a shawl and cowboy hat, stands in the middle of an open road while glancing to her left at someone off-screen in The Dead Don't Hurt. In playing a character as complex as Vivian, Creeps found herself connecting to many of her character's traits and life outlooks, particularly the desire to be independent and feel the lack of a need for a relationship, only to realize later that maybe the truth is somewhere in between. Mortensen nearly went back on the movie's non-chronological story but didn't like it as much. Viggo Mortensen and a child look behind them in The Dead Don't Hurt still. One of the most intriguing elements of The Dead Don't Hurt is the non-chronological structure Mortensen implements into its story, with some character fates being learned as early as the opening of the movie, only later to follow their stories in the lead-up to this. Despite always envisioning the movie in this format, the multi-hyphenate reveals he nearly changed his mind in the editing booth and created a version entirely linear, only to realize I didn't like it as much.